Electro trying to destroy our power grid. The Vulture raining death from above. Spider-Man egging them both on in the very heart of our city, brawling like children. Lethal children, pitching a tantrum of death and destruction. I'm often asked, why do menaces like this end up with awesome powers? Why not someone like you, Jonah? <laughs> well, I have considered trying to use advanced science to give me powers, only so I could protect you in a more hands-on way, of course. But after much reflection, I've decided against it. Because power corrupts. I'm a man of the people, and I want to stay one of the hard-working, ordinary people of New York. So I'll just help via my talk show, my publishing empire, and my vast personal fortune. No need to thank me. It's what a man of the people does. You keep being you, uh, Jonah. You keep being you. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Marvel Spider-Man. Last time we took out Rhino and Scorpion, not Scorpio, Scorpion, and uh, yeah, that was actually pretty doable. So if they just come at me in pairs, which is stupid of them because there's six of them, they are just manageable enough. But now we still have Lee and Octavius left, and there's a rocket chasing me for some reason. So uh, let's see what we can do from here. Okay, MJ. As backup. Away. Let me know if you get into trouble. And to MJ. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Okay. Mayor Osborne really lives here? Seems like a fancy building, at the very least. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Ah, uh, just talk to people then. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Okay, that's an interesting way of going around. It, it is Why five people. So. Down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Okay, those four aren't really reacting. System installed in the back security room. Uh, no sweeps needed, they say. Plus, you know. Anybody else I can talk to? Sure. He's definitely lost my vote. Maybe over here. Ah, there. These people. I left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Okay, let's do more people. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Can Everyone, I just walk please, past these guys? Home. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Da da di da di da di da. I know this is frustrating, but please remember. Pick up the stun gun. Hello? I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Okay. No no need to press that button just yet, MJ. You're a bit trigger happy. Oh, gold. Press square behind an enemy for a stealth takedown. Oh my god, we're doing stealth takedowns with MJ now. Wow. That was I like this thing. aggressive. So we can still do the lures. What was that? And then he turns around and we can just... Oh boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Electro's got nothing on this. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Yeah. Time to unlock that elevator. That was creepy. Okay, let's unlock that. Is that Silver Sable? And or Osborne himself? Yeah. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Uh, oh, I can just use that door. Although I feel like something else is gonna happen. Sable agent? No? Okay, let's just get through the door again. There we go. Penthouse elevator. Nobody seems this to mind. It. 
So they're coming out with Silver Moon Sable. Sable. Yeah. Right on cue. Let's just slip in. Stupid useless button. She's gonna see that. Mm. Oh, come on. Bye. Sablanova. Ooh, fancy place. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. I'm guessing... I'm guessing we're gonna need to... Oh, how does she scan things? I'm gonna have to clear out through the windows or something like that. And that's what's, where Spider-Man's gonna come in. Okay, so we have a... Oh. Is that what I think it is? Is that the goblin mask? It sure looks like what is it. This thing? It sure looks like it. Um, hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Okay. We don't have any context about this just yet. Holy crap. Whoa, what the f This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Yeah. I wonder where it leads. Luckily this was here. That's weird. Let's put that down again. So that must be the goblin, the green goblin mask. I'm just gonna take a quick look around because there must be other stuff here. Another blueprint. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Yeah, indeed. Leave space unused in a Manhattan apartment. So there's one big room behind the mini launch. But if you want to hide it, why even show that on the blueprint? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Is that spider Scientific research? Journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Well, usually in Spider-Man, Norman Osborn is sick. That's why he creates the serum that eventually turns him into Green Goblin. And it's kind of based on the fact that he wants to... Ooh, creepy masks. He wants to take over Peter's powers to help him uh, regenerate better. I don't think there's anything... Ooh, there's a little note here. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Aha, so we probably needed this as well to open up the door. So let's just go and look over there. Is that something? Oh yeah, I saw that. Let's just go over here and okay, Norman open that bids up. his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? He's probably not. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. So is there a clue to what day it is, or is it just going to be... Self-diagnostic complete. No fault found. Fire doors disengaged. Oh god. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. I know the keypad Harry's code. Harry's last day. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but... Oh, was come it on. July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Okay, so there's more stuff over here. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. Okay. But where did he put the key? Okay, so this entire penthouse is a bit of a big puzzle. Which is cool. What's this all about? I forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms. And a motto. Pax and Bello. Pax and Bello. Peace in war. Peace in war. Oh yeah. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. My Latin is still on point. Okay, what else do we have? Nothing. Ooh, what the hell is this? This room smells like rich people. Wonder yeah. if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Okay, so it's just all the doors that opened, and then we have the kitchen. 
because I don't think I can actually get outside to the the freaking pool. Or although that's a small pool. It's a very small pool. Oh no. This uh, one's bigger. Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Okay. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. A photo was removed. So that one just seems like... Yeah, there should be something over here. Can I actually select that? No. Okay. Now we have a television. Something on the wall over there. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. And Osborne turned into a maniac? Okay. So let's get to the television and see what's on there. It seems like a dangerous God. thing to turn on. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. So that's actually a bad way to watch television with the, the sun in the background, because that's going to hurt your eyes like hell. Um, still missing a picture, so there's more. Jesus Christ, this penthouse is huge. There's the picture. There's the picture of Here's his wife. Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Oh, oh, there, key. Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Okay, now the question is, where is Harry's room? Because there's Norman's a lot of stuff around here. room bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Yeah, it's probably even bigger than my house. Uh, Norman let's check Otto. that. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Yeah, different ideas probably, and Norman's freaking idea to make more money probably. Or maybe, ah, who knows, we'll see if he can find any more clues. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? So maybe Osborne tried to focus the research on curing his wife and Otto just didn't want any part in it. Okay, what's this? An audio diary. Okay. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? So Harry was also sick? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Well, he clearly had the same genetic disease as his mother. And um, Devil's Bread, GR27, was developed Harry's to cure him. Did this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. Yeah, looks pretty good. I think soil. Okay, so let's check out Harry's room, which is apparently right over here. Let's open that up. What? Oh wow! Yeah. This can't be for Harry, can it? Oh, this is sad. This kind of breaks my heart a little bit. But we're here Robert, for something else. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Okay, so it seems to be a note on the desk, but I can't interact with it. And then, of course, a bunch of pills. Maybe she has a bit of insight. 
Oh, that's, by the way, a nice view to uh, grow up with. Uh, just a view of the raft. The Supermax prison where all the big bad guys are just held. And then this Carrie's thing. journal. His last entry is marked July 18. Yeah, that 718. That must be the code to that room. 0718. Leaving for Europe today. Ha, huh, not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50. So, okay, I might not make it if that happens. I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risks at all turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them. Please. Thanks, Dad. I love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson... Guys, I'm sorry, really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick, like really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing mom had, neurodegeneration, rapid onset. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you, cause well, cause I didn't tell you. I was worried how you, how you'd react, and I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with my mom. Watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help, watching her die was worse than the dying. Things got really bad recently, all those times that I was wiped out from partying or super busy, yeah, not partying, not busy, just sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment, experimental, long term, dad's been working on it forever, promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it, Devil's Breath, says it makes something good seem scary, but maybe Devil's Breath is what I need, a little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, dad's here, time to go. Wow, okay. And that's just, wow, that's just breaking the moment. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. So that's a great motivation he for... He stand by. For Norman, of course. Okay, so we need to stun... Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Running a sweep. We'll report status. So there's one guy over here. Why am I slowing down? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I just turn him around? Might have something control. Stand by. And stab. Well, not, not stab, but electrify. Oh, God. There's like three guys in there. Um, probably don't need to take out all of them. These guys are the guys that are here. And then just loop around. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. Let's just get the keep codes. 0718. July 18. Bingo. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get in. And can I close that? Can I close that? Okay, it closes Super automatically. creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. And that kind of confirms it. Osborne was looking into radioactive spiders. spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? Of the course. The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Well, we saw the optical camouflage already. We know that he can do that without even spiders, I suppose. There's an auto diary over here. And then there's this holographic thingy, probably. But, ooh. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Yes. Green Goblin grenades. 
the the surprise grenades. Okay. So genetic information about Harry and his mother. What's in there? It's like a big cage. I'm just gonna go from here first. So let's listen to the audio diary. What's Harry this? And Emily's medical records. GR27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. But I feel like it doesn't he doesn't feel like it's a failure Norman though. Osborne, GR27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Well, right now it is a disease. I mean, it's a highly contagious disease, so I need to change into something else, but... Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Yeah, this then. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Yeah, this one. Heavily guarded that Dr. Michaels visits. This one. No. It's protected, it has sable troops, and the route kind of goes alongside it. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Yeah, I know, but... What? Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? Oh. Commercial buildings. Wow. Oscorp's going all in on defense pro research. Probably defense, so, and then... No movement. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Okay, so he must have Wherever been... the anti-serum is... Bravo, bravo, bravo. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a... A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath lab. It could. Good old Alf. Devil's Breath lab there must we have go. a big safe GR-27. There we go. name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... Yeah, good question. What is that? I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. Martin Lee incident. Seven Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> Oh God! They created Mr. Negative. And Otto was there as well. And he killed his own parents. Yeah, that explains why Martin Lee just hates Osborne's guts. Oh my god. Norman and Otto. They started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. Um what's in the box? No. Who's there? Um, did you just jump because of a spider? 
What's in the box? I wanna know what's in the box. Oh, come on. Check behind the table. Silver sable. Damn it. Oh, hi. We have a bridge. Number 24, uh, 42. All that was teasing that you could have been bitten. I want to know what's in the box. Pete, I want to know what's the in the freaking box. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two it's in the box. Over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. I can't check what's in the box anymore. God damn it, what's in the box? Okay. Just need to be careful. What about the three guys that were out cold? Oh god. So if this guy does not turn around, I can just zap his ass. I mean, of course, you're compromised. I mean, there's lots of unconscious guys on the floor. Oh god, there's this one, this one over there, this one over there. This one outside, but how do- oh, okay. Yeah, you probably have. Oh, that guy is just blind. Oh god. How far can I throw this? How far can I throw that? Gonna throw that. Doop 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 doop. Look alive. We've got company. Keep searching. We can't let them get away. I think we got company. So that guy's looking in that direction as well. Zap. Just get out. 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 Need to clear that balcony. Okay, no problem. No problem. Just, I never checked on my left side, but here we go. Oh! Boss, we got her. Pete, you here? Turn it off lights now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. Yeah, I would have shot the door immediately as well. Hi. Let's jump off. Okay, that's a leap of faith. If I've ever seen one. Oh god, if he misses that. Jesus Christ. You are crazy. You're amazing. <laughs> or spectacular. Wink. But now I really want to know what's in the box. And we leveled up, I think. That was the level up noise. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick? Norman and Lee and Dr. Octavius? I know. So yeah, it reveals a lot about the story. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. Aww. I think that scene would have been better with him out the suit, but... There we go. Oh, but... Oh, don't tease us like that. Don't tease us like that. That is... Is that the spider that's gonna bite Miles? Or maybe I'm too. That's to gonna that be cool. Get that and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. It's actually interesting, cause okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti serum. Better update Yuri. Lee was the only one that didn't have an now. incentive. It is. Oscorp just created an anti serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. 
I send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry, I'm on it. This will all be over soon, I promise. Okay. That uh, feels like a final confrontation somehow. Uh, and by the way, today was also the release date of the DLC. Which is of course something we're gonna head into right after we finish up the game. But yeah, as I was saying, it was weird that Lee was the only one of the Sinister Six that didn't have a real motivation. We found in uh, Otto's base. That this rhino person always knocks down buildings and tears up roads, which someone ends up making money rebuilding. Am I suggesting a conspiracy? You're damn right! Now, if you've seen the man testify in court, you know the rhino is too stupid to plan anything himself! So who's the mastermind? Well, who else is always there? Supposedly fighting rhino, but actually leading him around like a red cape does a bull! Say it with me! Spider-Man! Of course, because it's always Spider-Man. So yeah, now with the revelation that Lee, Mr. Negative, was created by Norman and Otto by accident, and that the accident caused Lee to, well, kind of explode and kill his own parents, it makes a lot more sense. Especially since Otto clearly didn't want to be a part of that experiment. Because he was the one uh, chastising Norman about what he's done. But, you know what? We've done it all for one episode, so uh, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, let's uh, hope we find the cure to Devil's Breath. So see you guys next time. Goodbye.